Hello Leos, how are you doing? Let's do a quick check-in for love for you and see what the vibes are. What is happening with Leos in love? What are the messages for love for Leo? Sun, moon, Venus signs here. Oh, you're shutting someone out. I feel like you're shutting someone out. I feel like you're sort of over their drama. They're back and forth here. Let's get a little bit more on that. Yeah, Leo, you may be ending something with someone. It was just too overwhelming. It was a, a bit overwhelming, I should say, right? Um, so something here is coming to an end for you, Leo. Right? Something you're completely shutting yourself away from, shutting out, shut, especially if you're a Leo moon, all right? Or there's some sort of Scorpio energy here. Or you feel shut out from someone, from an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, and you're wondering what is going on. Should I just shut this whole situation down? Like, should I keep pursuing this energy? So I feel like Leos are getting somewhat fed up, okay? Fed up with trying. What is Leo fed up with? Why is Leo fed up? My beautiful fire sign. Why is Leo fed up here? Well, you're fed up with the fact that this person ultimately is not opening up emotionally, all right? Or this person is not moving towards um, making things clear on their end. So it's sort of like you feel rejected or you felt rejected by this person, this person's emotional state, okay? Like uh, this person's keeping secrets, this person's not letting me in, this person is keeping us a secret, and this person is uh, doing things that's making me really question how they really feel about me. Okay, so I feel like you're at this place where it's like, I don't even want to try to figure things out anymore. Like if I wanted to, I would have been a forensic, I don't know, or I would have became a uh, NYPD detective. Like I really cannot fig figure this person out. All right, how does this person feel about Leo here? How is this person feeling about my Leos? How do they feel? Hmm, that's interesting. So this is someone here, it's like, this is interesting. This person becomes very confused why, why you're detaching. Like they're, they're very confused in terms of why Leo is even pulling away. This person gives me a lot of like clueless vibes. Now, is it, you know, is it their way of playing games? Is this a very genuine energy? We'll look into that. But this person views you as relationship material. Okay. This person views you as somebody they could see themselves with in the future. Someone I feel like they know that they could trust. Like this, per it could be a Taurus. Hmm. This person is saying, I know that we would be good together. I know that we would be a great team. I know that we would be that. I know that we would actually have a very fun and stable future together here. And it comes in as if this person becomes very confused, very, very confused, especially if they're an air sign, okay, or a water sign too. This person becomes very confused and uh, very clueless in terms of why is Leo pulling away? Why is Leo walking away from me? Why is Leo not giving me that attention that I should be giving Leo here? So there is this state of confusion that this person enters here once you decide to completely shut out, uh, shut them out. Um, and it comes off like I can't handle my own medicine here. I can't take it. I can't take it when you do it. When I do it, it's fine. But when you do it, I don't know if I can handle it here. Okay. But it's interesting because I feel like this is not someone here that's wanting to let you go. What is the obstacle here? That, that's interesting. What is the obstacle? What is the obstacle overall? Okay. Yeah, we don't communicate well. We could argue. All right, someone has a temper here. All right. There's just a lack of forward movement, a lack of clarity, a lot of challenges, roadblocks. That's the challenge, right? A challenge within a challenge, roadblocks here. Okay, let's get some more messages because I feel like the two of you have something very good, all right? The connection's there. What is the overall vibe for this connection? Let's see if this is worth it. What is the overall vibe? Also, before I continue, Leos, um, if you are interested in a personal reading, all right, and you're wanting to take a look at your person's vibe, their energy, how they truly feel about you, everything is 
below Leo's, okay? So let's get a very clear check in here on the overall energy for this connection, all right? So this has long-term potential, okay? It has long-term potential. Someone here could just be all about business, all about their money. That's what they focus on. They're focusing on work. Work is their thing. All right, and it comes off as if like we're both very serious people. You could work with this person. We come off as very serious people, but when it comes to getting to that stability, there's an issue. That's what the overall vibe is, okay? What is the outcome for this connection? Wow, we have a relationship here. We have making things right, Libra energy. October may be a very interesting month for some of you here to make things right, to have some sort of balanced out communication with this person here. This is the issue. There's something about a secret here. There's something about someone here like making things right, but still being ultimately very quiet. All right. I don't know if this is like a secret relationship or there's something about secrecy. Someone here having secret motives or there's something about a secret energy of I'm not telling everyone around me certain things or I'm not opening up and being expressive or someone here could have a secret relationship in uh, in the midst of things here in the midst of things here. All right. We have the sun card here. So I feel like the two of you will have an opportunity to clear things up, clear the air. But I get that. I get that this person holds on hard. Like, I feel like this person holds on extremely tight. And Leo, you may not notice that. Um, you may not notice that. And I feel like it aggravates you maybe. But I feel like this is someone here. Maybe they're just in the sabotaging energy. Why is this person struggling with moving forward with Leo? Why are they struggling here? Why is this person struggling? I feel like this person's very indecisive. They're unsure. They're very protective. Very, very protective here. But again, there, there's something about them not being extremely um, stable when it comes to moving forward and expressing themselves or expressing what they want. So they just visualize things. It could be a Pisces you're connecting with as well, or someone's connecting with a Pisces here. All right, I'm not able to, uh, you know, completely make a decision. I just want to sort of move with uh, my own momentum, which is ultimately getting someone cut off here. That's what I'm getting, Leo. All right, let's look at Leo's money. Let's take a look at your money here. What is happening with finances? Sometimes when love doesn't work, let's focus on money, right? Let's focus on the moolah. All right, let's get a little bit more in terms of what's taking place with my Leos and finance. What's happening with finance here with Leos? All right, some of you may, oh, oh, that's really nice. Some of you may actually start getting a lot of acknowledgement for at work. Here, look at this, Leo. You might actually find, okay, for a lot of my Leos here, your money starts to really take off once you get rid of a parasite or someone, I don't want to call them that, but someone that's very, very draining to your energy. Uh, dropping a situation that doesn't want to grow and being in this place of tapping into your creative side, especially if you are a Pisces or a Cancer or um, a Scorpio energy or you have that within your big three, there's something about you being needed at this time here to um, touch, touch people that really needs to be touched in terms of love and creativity and things like that and being a very nurturing soul. Um, even like creating things in a home or decorating, there's something very creative in your spirit, or even being like a nurse, or um, being someone that cares, or gives care to, to, you know, elderly children, or even being a teacher, I feel like you find your creative path, or you find your tribe, once you release someone that's holding you back, so you'll find that, wow, like, I really needed to let something go, or let the idea of something go, in order to start something new. Of course, this is resonating um, for someone here, but you have the world, which is, again, time for change, time for growth, Leo, so good luck with that here. Let's see what else is coming in. Let's see what spirit has to say for you, Leo. I like this. 
Hmm. Every ending has a beautiful beginning. All right. From what I'm feeling here. Leo's attraction. All right. We have a lot of attraction and codependency. Some of you may actually have to release a situation because it's making you feel like um, you're unstable. Like it's brought out a lot of anger within you or it's brought out a lot of characteristics that you're not really proud of. Maybe you found yourself um, not really taking care of yourself. You found yourself really letting yourself go or again, not having that stability that you used to have. So once you release something here, especially if you're like overly attached to the outcome of something, you're going to start realizing how attractive you become in terms of connecting with your soul tribe, in terms of attracting some of the things that you've been manifesting for yourself. All right. So this codependency energy is very, very, very heavy for someone and I feel like it's being released. All right, Leos, have a good one. I love you and I'll talk to you soon.